الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسوله محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين أما بعد Honorable President Respected Judges and their all Today I would like to shed some light on the topic Muslims contribution to India the audience, Indian Muslims carry a rich legacy of contribution towards the nation, society and mankind as whole. Their contribution is multidimensional and of enormous magnitude and certainly an object of pride. The domains in which a civilization or community can be judged for their contribution are language, literature, administration, education, science, and religion, etc. Indian Muslims have squarely contributed to all these fields. Apart from all these, their sacrifice and propitiation for the sake of this country to set it free from the beauty servitude is particularly unforgettable. Let us look at some of the fields and brief mention of Indian Muslims' contribution towards it. Language. In language and literature, Muslims have contributed to the language evolvement and refinement. They have also contributed in preserving and adopting the foreign languages. Muslims have been preserving the foreign languages for a long time like Persian, Turkey, Pashto, and Arabic. Religious studies and modern education. In religious studies, Darul Alum Deoban, Nadwatul Alam Al-Laknaw, and Mazahir Alum Saranpur are the three top-notch institutions in South Asia. People across the world enroll in the ever mentioning Madaris for religious studies. In modern education, Muslims were the pioneer with prominent leaders like Sir Sayyid Ahmad Khan, Hakim Abdul Hamid and Badruddin Taibji, etc. Over the last 700 years of Muslim rule, the only education infrastructure was of Madaris. When British started opening English-based universities in India, Muslims once again were the pioneer in adopting modern education. AMU was established in 1880. Smania University and Jamia Millia Islamia were founded within three years of BHG establishment. Science and technology. In academic technology, Tipu Sultan was pioneer of rocket technology. APJ Abdul Kalam was father of missile program in India who passed away last year. Gofran Beg Matriology, Israel Ahmed Theoretical Nuclear Physics, Muhammad Razibuddin Physics and Nobel Prize nominee, Javed Agrawal Microbial Technology, M.M. Founder of Cardinal Geometry, are some other exponents in their respective fields. Muslims were the first and true historian of medieval India. Freedom struggle, their audience, Muslims were the pioneer of freedom fight against colonial British who were initially resisted by the armies of Nawab Sirajuddin of Bengal at the Battle of Pelasi in 1757. Hyder Ali and Tipu Sultan were then resisting British in southern India between the year 1760 and 80. Shah Abdul Aziz Mohandis Delvi issued fatwa of India becoming Darul Harb and thus declared freedom fight as jihad which mobilized Muslim masses including religious scholars like Sayyid Ahmad Shaheed 
who eventually declared independence in our small northwest frontier region. Finally, different armies and individual participated in the volume of 1857 under the leadership of Bahadur Shah Zafar along with Azimullah Khan, Nawab Khan, etc. The audience, though all section of people took part in it, the leading role played by ulama in the freedom movement is unforgettable. Freedom, freedom movement would remain incomplete without mentioning of ulama and their sacrifices. Their dignitaries, however, the country itself bears witness and the serenity and tranquility are the lucid events as a bright sun that Indian Muslims pledged themselves to the totality of their service of their country, particularly when the country was plunged into the deep darkness of British servitude. They offered the most to free the country from foreign colleges. So, I think today the country owes to their sacrifice and I hope that their contribution will be remembered till the last day of this universe. May Allah give us tawfiq to follow them and grant them all. Here I conclude my speech. Eastern Crescent is not just an English monthly but differs from others in many ways. It consists of well-researched articles, targets issues which seldom get the attention of the mainstream media, gives every issue its deserving place, answers the misconceptions about Islam and Muslims, acts aptly on its slogan, alternative media, people's choice. For subscription and other details, please contact us on 022-2677-1618 or 022-2679-8538. You may also log on to www.easterncrescent.in.